Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Skyrim Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today's video will entail the acquisition and the inspection of three very similar yet unique spells. Conjure Bone Man, Conjure Mist Man, and Conjure Wrath Man. If you do wish to skip the walkthrough for entering the Soul Can, or if you wish to skip the acquisition of the spells, both timestamps can be found in the description. Firstly, entering the Soul Can. About one to two hours into the Dawnguard expansion quests, we'll rescue the Moth Priest, Dexian Evicus, during the quest Prophet. After doing so, we will be given the quest Chasing Echoes. Once on this quest, head to Castle Volkswagen and just follow the quest marker. If you thought you had skeletons in your closet, this place has got you beat. Come prepared to shatter plenty of bones. When we get into the castle courtyard, we'll need to find the three dial plates. One can be found in the pond on the northwestern side of the courtyard, the other two can be found on the eastern side. One is up on the balcony and the other is hidden on the ground amongst the garden flowers. Once you have all three, put them back into the dial. This will open the secret stairs. Of course, head down there. A fair way through towards the top of the tower, we will enter a room filled with gargoyles. What you'll need to do is turn the left candle next to the fireplace to open the secret door and continue on. Next, we will be entering the portal room. Firstly, we'll need to find Serana's mother's journal. This can be found on the bookcase on the western side of the room. Next, we'll have to find three ingredients. Firstly, on this table of bones, again on the western side of the room, we'll find the finely ground bone meal. Grab it. Secondly, up on the second floor, on the bookcase covered in salts, we'll find the purified void salts. Grab that puppy. And finally, on the middle stair landing, we'll find a bowl of soul gem shards. Grab that. Once we have all three ingredients, talk to Serana and she'll add her blood, complete the ritual, and voila, we have opened a portal to the soul can. There is, however, one more step we have to take before entering. To enter, you'll either have to be a vampire, become a vampire, or have your soul partially trapped. Of course, if you're a vampire or want to become a vampire, no problem there. Just tell Serana and she'll do it for you. But if you want to stay human, just take the option to have your soul partially trapped. Personally, I didn't notice a difference. Apparently, it's meant to weaken you slightly throughout the quest. Once you choose one of those two options, Head into the soul can. You've earned it. So now we are in, we're going to get Conjure Rathman first. From the portal, we want to follow the path to the northeast, all the way to the gateway in the wall. Once through the gate, we need to head east and a tad south. Sadly, the soul can doesn't have a map, but I'll be using this one for reference. So again, from the portal, follow the path northeast to the gate, then from the gate head east with a pinch of south. Eventually, we will find this roofed arched structure. Inside, on a small shrine, we will find none other than the Conjure Rathman spell tome. Grab it. From here, we want to head northeast. On the map, we want to head from here, Conjure Rathman, to Conjure Mistman, here. It's right next to the Reaper Tower and easy to find on this raised platform, again atop a small candle-lit shrine. Of course, grab that unique Conjure Mistman spell tome. Next, we'll need to head due west. On the map, we can see we want to head from Conjure Mist Man here, all the way west until we reach the Conjure Bone Man. Amidst a large graveyard next to a shrine, we will find the third book in the trilogy, Conjure Bone Man Spellbook. So now we have all three, let's look at each individually and alphabetically. Firstly, Conjure Bone Man. Its school is of course Conjuration, its level is Apprentice, its base casting cost is 129 Magicka, its charge time is a measly 0.5 seconds, its range is 24 feet, its tome value is 75 and its effect. Summon a Bone Man Archer from the Soul Can to fight for you for 60 seconds. The Bone Man Archer is the weakest of the three spells. It is undead and can be a affected by undead related spells. When summoned, it will be level 6, have a health of 140 with a lesser soul. Its low level makes it very susceptible to spells such as Turn Undead, even when fighting very weak enemies. It is also the only conjured ally that is an archer, so it may be useful if you need such a position filled. Although being weak, it will be armed with an Ancient Nord bow and Ancient Nord arrows. The arrows surprisingly hit hard and do considerable damage. The bow it uses also has a draw speed of 0.875, which means it fires faster than most bows. Also, despite being a conjured creature, upon death it may actually drop its weapon as a lootable item, theoretically making the Conjure Bone Man a source of infinite items, and in a way, a potential source of infinite gold. Secondly, we have Conjure Mist Man. Its school is Conjuration, its level is Adept, it has a base casting cost of 193 Magicka, its charge time is 0.5 seconds, its range is 24 feet, its tome value is 75, and its effect, summon a Mist Man from the Salt Can to fight for you for 60 seconds. The Mist Man is the middle ground when it comes to these three spells. 
It is undead and can be affected by undead relevant spells. When summoned, it will be level 13, have a health of 490, a magic ball of 210 with a lesser soul. And while being 7 levels higher than the Bone Man, Mist Man's level of 13 still leaves it fairly susceptible to spells such as Turn Undead, even when fighting weaker, lower level enemies. In combat, Mist Man is a ranged caster type using two spells. Firstly, it uses Frostbite, a blast of cold that does 8 points of damage per second to health and stamina, and secondly, it uses Ice Spike, a spike of ice that does 25 points of frost damage to health and stamina, both of which are used and or fired off quite quickly and regularly, making the Mist Man a good choice as ranged support. Thirdly and finally, we have the Conjure Wrath Man. Its school is Conjuration, its level is Expert, it has a base Magicka casting cost of 301, its charge time is half a second, its range is 24 feet, its tome value is 75, and its effect, summon a Wrathman from the Soul Can for 60 seconds to fight for you. The Conjure Wrathman, the most powerful of the three Soul Can Conjuration men. It is undead and can be affected by spells that affect undead. When it is summoned, it will be level 30, have a health of 800 with a greater soul. Wrathman has the highest health of any summoned creature. It will be wearing a full set of Ancient Nord armor and will be wielding any of these three Dragonbone weapons. Dragonbone Battle Axe, Dragonbone Greatsword, or the Dragonbone Warhammer. Its high level and its high health make it a better choice compared to Bone Man, Mist Man, and Fully Sick Man. And Wrathman in some cases may even be the best possible choice of creature to summon. When compared to the Conjure Dramora Lord, the summoned Wrathman has more health, although the Dramora Lord deals more damage. The Wrathman is also resistant to frost, but vulnerable to fire. This makes the Wrathman more useful than a Dramora Lord against frost-based enemies, but less useful against fire-based enemies. So as well as being the best of the three Soul Can Men, when it comes down to the entire pool of summonable creatures, it is the best choice in some cases. All three Conjured Men also benefit from the following perks. The Conjuration Jewel Casting perk and the Necromancy perk extend the duration of the Conjured Men, increasing it from 24 feet to 48 feet with 1 point and 72 feet with 2 points. The Dark Souls perk adds an extra 100 points of health to all of them, and the Twin Souls perk allows the summoner to conjure two of them at a time. So, a solid variety of strengths, costs, and combat positions to choose from. Any woman's dream, a selection of men. Although, they may not be the kind of bone you were looking for. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the three unique Conjuration spells. Conjure Bone Man, Conjure Mist Man, and Conjure Wrath Man. I do hope this video helped you out in some way, in either acquiring them or understanding the depths of how they work. If you did enjoy this video, and you would like to see videos similar to this one, please consider subscribing or checking that you're still subscribed, as YouTube's been a little bit sneaky lately unsubscribing people. You can of course also check out the playlist button on screen, this will take you directly to my Skyrim special edition guides playlist where you can select the videos that you wish to watch freely or you can find individual links in the description as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter to be notified when I upload a video. Again, YouTube's not really doing its job there. You can search Camelworks on Twitter or of course the link will also be in the description. With all that said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you very soon in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.